Back in the 2018-2019 season, Pizzo Mosimane led the 2016 Continental Champions to a 5-0 victory over Al Ahli. It caught the eye of the Egyptian giants and now he manages one of the biggest clubs on the continent. And it seems fitting that after guiding them to a ninth continental title, he now faces his former employers in the quarterfinals in a must-see clash. This is the beauty of football. The beauty of football is it, it always gives you these interesting matchups that uh, add a lot of spice to, to, to not just what happens on the pitch, but what happens uh, off the pitch. And, and I think um, yeah, I will leave, we'll leave a lot of the talking to, to, to the other people and, and focus on the football. The CAF coach of the year spent eight years at the Kloerkorp club, turning them into domestic and African champions. His influence on the club has been immense, but things have changed since his departure in October 2020. I wouldn't say he knows, he knows everything, because there's been a big change on how we play. It's just that not many people can find the detail in it. I wouldn't say we will find it difficult because he knows everything. I just believe that it will be a very nice contest of very big teams in the competition. There's no doubt the showdown will have tongues wagging, especially on social media. But when the whistle goes, the focus will be on the game over 90 minutes and nothing else. I think for him, uh, more, than, more than us relishing to, 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 see, to play against al Ahli because for us there's no emotional connotation. Uh, we, we, we will go into that game uh, with the same focus, the same desire to want to win against any opposition. But I think for him, it would be a little bit more special. The mind games have already begun ahead of the blockbuster showdown. And the message from the Sundowns camp is that the pressure is firmly on the nine-time champions and their South African coach. There's no denying that there's more than bragging rights at stake in this quarterfinal, which could well see the victor go on to claim the biggest prize in African club football. CS2 CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.